Uh, uite Ami Shut the fuck up <laughs> Yo, what's good, y'all? Today is Monday. As you can see, I'm outside. It's raining like crazy. Get to the pharmacy just to pick up a few things. Yo, so I'm in DBS. It's my friend Jasmine's birthday. Shout out to Jazz. We actually going on a cruise for her birthday, so I'm excited about that. She don't know yet. It's a gift for me to her. We've been friends a long time. She's always been somebody that's had my back through all the iterations of myself in the past three years. And the times I ain't have it, she had it vice versa, you feel me? So I'm glad that even though we didn't work out like that, that we still remain good friends and it didn't end on bad terms. And now, you feel me? This is my gift to her. She probably think I, for I forgot about her birthday because her birthday was in May, but she went away for her birthday and then I didn't have the funds when she came back. And then when I did, she went away again like the next two weeks after that, but it's cool. This is a gift to myself as well, but I'm gonna chop it up. I'm gonna get this, get out of here. Uh, I just wrapped up at the pharmacy, y'all. I'm at this little park in the pharmacy, but I mean, next to the pharmacy. If my voice sound weird, it's just because I've been fasting and my body been purging, no cap. But like I was saying earlier, uh, we're going on a cruise, it's Royal Caribbean. Yo, it's so hilarious because the last time I went on a cruise and my first time only was 10 years ago. So to be going 10 years later is insane. More of a like chill cruise, it's only like four days. It's more of a really relaxing like, you feel me we need to get out because if y'all didn't know we were roommates as well because like i said we were together but then we decided to be roommates i know that might not make sense to a lot of y'all but we've always had a great relationship so it don't really need to make sense to y'all like we both came back to new york because we both decided we just didn't want to pay rent no more and we want to do what we wanted to do i am still moving out of the country i'm just putting it on hold because like i told y'all these two projects i'm working on obviously they need some financial backing so I don't want to go there and come back because my goal was to go there and then come back by the time I want to launch. Um, I'm going to travel after I launch. You feel me? Like that's going to be my gift to myself. One of the places I'm going to go before I leave the country, which is going to be Puerto Rico for sure. I've been planning to go to Puerto Rico for the last few years, bro. Next year is the year. I don't know how y'all feel about money and shit like that or like what y'all driving for. My driving force is to do things like this for the people I care about most, you feel me? And obviously the world. Y'all know my mission, y'all know my purpose and shit like that. We're trained to only do that when we're in relationships. Previous friend group I was in, we helped each other out, but we didn't get each other gifts. That wasn't a thing we did, you feel me? Unless it was Christmas. It wasn't normalized go that extra mile. First of all, look what I'm reading. This shit right here is it, bro. But I had to take a pause from that and my workout to speak to y'all because some shit was on my heart, bro. Whew, give me a second. Out of breath a little bit, shit. I think back to everything I had, almost every single sneaker I wanted. I had my own place finally. I had my own car. If you were to tell that version of myself at the beginning of that stage that you're going to end up moving back to New York, you're going to sell all your sneakers, sell your car, that would be my worst nightmare i'm in some of the best spaces mentally like i've ever been and the only reason i know that is because i've been thrown back in an environment and i'm still upholding all those good habits you feel me that's just reassurance that that you have shifted you're not that person that you once were you feel me like the fact that i'm working out i never worked out in this crib bro like i mean i used to do i did push-ups like years ago but i never used to really work out in this crib i never used to feel me? Listen to audiobooks. I never used to journal. You feel me? And I don't think y'all realize how much of a challenge it can be if you allow it to be to fall back into those habits. You feel me? To just be like, well, you know what? I give up. Uh, I knew things wasn't going to work out. You feel me? To just play victim and add fuel to that belief system. Today is Tuesday, bro. I'm headed to get this iPad. You feel me? This is going to help me out tremendously. And lastly, today's the last day of my fast. Oh. Oh my God, yeah, bro, I love food, bro.
see. Hmm. Hmm. I went to the vegan spot that I normally go to this time. You feel me? Like I don't have no snacks, and I'm like, damn, I want a little snack. I went and got some dumplings, bro. This how these shits looking. They look good. It's like cabbage, carrots, I think like green onions, scallions, a few other things inside of it. And it came with like soy sauce, but obviously we're not gonna use that. I'm actually gonna use the hot sauce I used on that bowl earlier. Let me show y'all this shit, bro. It's called Old Brothers. <laughs> but yeah, I won't talk y'all heads off. Check in with y'all tomorrow. Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm actually in a little bit of a rush. I'm headed to meet up with my friend to get some donuts, but not just to get donuts, to edit as well. And Yo, these donuts is about to smack. I got the strawberry, the blueberry, and the cinnamon. They had French toast, but I missed it. I'm tight. And then you got vanilla, sprinkle, triple chocolate, and triple pistachio. Chocolate. Triple chocolate is my shit. Which one you about to try first? Well, I've been eyeing this one. This was the first one I said I was gonna get. Strawberry, my so. favorite, so I'm already going that. But I'm gonna try the cinnamon first. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I always know. They all vegan, bro. Y'all know how long I've been craving donuts, bro? Like. Mm. Look at this blueberry, bro. I've never gotten a blueberry donut that had blueberries in it, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like eight or seven and a half is too sweet. Strawberry donut is the best donut you could get. Oh my god. Can I know the last time I had a strawberry donut? I feel like finishing this one. <laughs> Alright. It's been years, and it was Dunkin' Donuts, bro. Dunkin' Donuts ain't nothing special. This shit tastes like a premium version of that Dunkin' Donuts donut. Mm. On, on their Instagram, every day. Baby, I can run all the time. Uh, baby, I'm talking crazy. I need you run in my space, but I need it. Baby, I'm late, but I still can check in with you. What's good, y'all? Before I forget, I want to show y'all something, bro. Let me put y'all on, bro. I took my passport pictures, bro. All right, before I show y'all this, just know every pit, bro, I don't be smiling in pictures, bro. It's very rare. If I do, like, when people be like, smile, I'm not that person that can smile on command. I got to be through, like, laughter or something like that. You feel me? Like, I'm not just, not me, bro. But anyway, imagine my finger as the do-rag. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, like. Nah, this is hilarious, bro. Bro, and while my friend was like, you look like you miserable as fuck, right? And the lady that took the picture started dying. Like, she started dying. I was like, okay, it's real funny. All right, okay, it's real funny. Bro, look at my old picture, bro. Look, I was hella young, bro. No beard. <laughs> Same face. I just got out the shower, bro. You know, them shower, them therapeutic thoughts, you feel me? Well, if you're in that place be everything bro just giving myself love and props for like everything i put my mind to i really do like that shit is like that's amazing bro like to be able to have that and i realize how much of that is a gift and how much courage and bravery that takes you feel me even though i don't always see it in that lens because it comes so natural i'm just grateful bro and I just got evicted two months ago bro i'm looking forward to what the ending of this year brings and what the new year brings. And I'm really excited about the things that I don't have planned. People I'm gonna connect with along the way. What's good y'all? Woke up again late, but it's all right. Today is Thursday. I'm gonna do better. Meet up with my friend and actually edit it. Got two wraps in here, you feel me? So got a snack 
in my room that I'm about to grab those chocolate date bars I'll put y'all on too give you nothing else I need to focus on myself I need to focus on my health now yeah baby I can't keep falling in and out of love I know that feeling's like a drug but I don't think that it's enough for me Baby, I can't give you nothing else I need to focus on myself I need to focus on my health now, yeah Baby, I can't keep falling in and out of love I know that feeling's like a drug But I don't think that it's enough for me Baby, I can't I can't find a reason not to keep risking it all. Yo, what's good, y'all? Man, it's, I'm finally in the crib. It's 1030, but I got a lot of updates for y'all. Number one, let me show y'all. We got, we secured the iPad for the low for 250 bro. Yeah, I know it's pink, bro. We don't got to talk about that. But all I needed to do is work, which it does. Not only did I do that, I got my paperwork for my passport. I got my pictures, the documents. I got my old passport, and I got everything else I need, you feel me? And I found Mint M Mobile had a promotion where you could get three months for like $55 after tax. I was like, all right, bet, I'm gonna do that because that'll give me enough time to do a lot of things, you feel me? That gives me a lot of breathing room. On that note, I'm about to relax, lay down, drink some pineapple juice, and I'm gonna hit y'all tomorrow because there's uh, a few things that I gotta do tomorrow as well. Bro, today is Friday. There's no way I came outside in this crazy ass weather to fucking get some donuts, bro. Bro, I just ran 40 minutes to get these donuts, bro. Like, of course, I can't get this shit out of my beard, bro. The train I was on, it went like five stops before I needed to get off because they said it's been flooding throughout the train stations and everywhere in New York. I realized they closed at six, not seven. So I basically ran almost 40 minutes straight, probably like 30 straight, and then I walked the rest. This is the universe telling me I should have stayed my ass inside. <sighs> I'm finally in the crib, like three hours later, bro. Was it worth it? No, the universe was definitely on my ass, bro. So this one, let me see what the vibes is. Sanction. Fuck oh, that blueberry donut was so fucking good. Them donuts are so immaculate. I'm excited, y'all, bro. Cause tomorrow's the day I tell Jasmine. I don't like keeping the secret. I just like telling people, bro. Like I told you, I literally only talk to her and Isaiah, so I try to make sure they good. You feel me? In every way I can. If bro, if you watching this, when the funds is right, you already know we gonna be traveling and shit, bro. I I literally gotta head out now, but let me show y'all. You feel me? Got a little spicy. Jasmine, aka Jazz Jolie. You feel me? Today's the day we're gonna finally find out about the cruise. Cause listen, I'm tired of keeping a secret. Bro, tell me if this is not God though. Why the diner we're going to is right next to the donut spot? Listen, just because I rarely wear jeans, I'm gonna show you how to fit, bro. Can't even fucking see. This ain't cold. Searching for hits, searching for bliss, but I keep getting the wall. Baby girl kiss, never convinced. Why I keep this in the cars? She can evolve, I just might fall. Stuck in the midst of it all. Red light, green light, carry this weight like a brick in the yard. Giving them bars, filling in prison with all of these frivolous laws. Head right, seems like every more finger they give me. I didn't ask you to do all of that. Hi. Your voice don't even sound like that. Tell them where they can find you, bro. Um, you can find me at Jazz Jolie on YouTube. Fuck everything else. <laughs> All right, bro. I can't give you nothing else. I need to focus on myself. I need to focus. Yo, so we in it, the diner. I'm about to show y'all the menu, bro. Y'all know how long I've been wanting some vegan pancakes, bro? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I think. Yeah. 
happy birthday. This is your birthday event today. I forgot to say that. What month we in? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I do shit for niggas, man. I just peeped this, y'all. That's. If you're from New York, you can appreciate this. Alright, y'all. So I got the chocolate chip pancakes with bacon. And then I got the spring. I look for one to get a biscuit too, but I'm like, let me not OD. Because I'm going to eat again later. I'm about to bust this shit down, bro. What you got, bro? Oh, um, I got pancakes and bacon. Same shit. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know I gotta give y'all the drizzle, all kind of. Oh, all right. <laughs> We're gonna try on the next pancake, bro. Yeah, let's see how this shit hit me, y'all. What you think about the food, bro? Um, the food was good. What would you rate it? I would rate it a nine out of ten. Did you like the bacon? I did like the bacon. Yeah, that should have made it better. Oh God. Yeah. This is your first birthday experience. That's what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna give you your first gift. <laughs> this is a card, obviously. Say Jasmine, aka Jasmine. <laughs> Life of a content creator. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed Alright y'all, we out to the next spot I got, You know I gotta stop and give me a donut first
this gift, bro. You are traveling somewhere, but I can't tell you where yet. We see John Africa then, rather we saw John Africa in the same way that people saw Jesus Christ because of his carpentry, because of his simple way of living, and so forth. Now we know that John Africa is a man who can't explain Jesus Christ. natural law. It's actually just a belief that is really, that's really familiar to everybody because everybody has to breathe, everybody has to eat, everybody has to endure and enjoy and live by the natural standards of all of life, which is the causes of people's problems, like where people's problems are coming from. And that's the thing that actually really grabbed me because we talked about the section on children and why children grow up to be the way that they are sometimes like dysfunctional or insecure or and he really breaks it down for me to un make me really understand it because it just explains how society just makes just forces you kind of to to love technology to love things that are feeling less to love things that are meaningless to love things that are you know that don't have feelings you know a car a chair a floor a shiny car a shiny floor but meanwhile, hurting child's feelings over that. Do away with it, all right? That has nothing to do with idolizing John Africa. We, the members of the movement, have a great reverence for the man, for the founder of this organization. That has nothing to do with uh, any mysticalness, okay? Any, uh, uh, any foolishness. So this man isn't asking people to buy any Cadillacs. He ain't asking people to worship him. All he's asking people to do is be right. And for that, his presence isn't required. Think about being an activist for political prisoners. You don't have to think about activism for animals. If you just think about yourself, that covers everything because you're connected to the environment. And if you know that you need the air to breathe, why would you allow the system to create things that pollute the air? Why would you allow a system that builds uh, atomic plants on the river when the river is where your water comes from. To the consensus about shared chores, so I came up with this schedule. Everybody take lunch. We've got cooking, cleaning, shopping, seven days a week, and I assigned to everybody. A lot of, about a lot of like historical books that I went and otherwise encountered. Um, for example, I. Like, um, Anybody from coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We're not a racist organization because we understand that racism is an excuse used for Catholic Panther Party that they can do anything they want to us. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. We're not going to slide in and roll in. We're going in our black communities, brothers with our 12-gauge shotguns and our 357 Magnum and our 45 and we're gonna patrol these pigs who've been brutalizing our people in the black community and if we catch one of them pigs brutalizing and trying to murder one of our people we're gonna kill them pigs because of the way this society is organized because of the violence that exists on the surface everywhere. You have to expect that there are going to be such explosions. You have to expect things like that as reactions. I mean, that's why when someone asks me about violence, uh, uh, I just uh, 
I just find it incredible it, because it, what it means is that the person who's asking that question has absolutely no idea what black people have gone through, what black people have experienced in this country since the time the first black person was kidnapped from the shores of Africa. I hate the press, refusing interviews whenever they request. Niggas fake, progressive, and woke. I started saying less. Studio steppers moving. All right, you want to take a guess, bro? Where are you headed? I guess. Around the world. For my phone died, bro. My shit like going 0%. Around the world? Bali? No. Cuba? No. <laughs> you staying in the U.S. territory, nigga? Seattle? No. Alright y'all, my phone died, but let me show y'all. I can't even show y'all the aftermath, bro. Y'all can't really see, but I'll show y'all this tomorrow when I dog it, yo. And what you got? What is, what is this? That, this is um, the Haitian specialist. Haitian griot. I think it's pronounced griot or something. I don't know. Fake, fake but, Haitian. <laughs> nah, you good. But, um, yeah, it's kind of... Griot. Well, this one is vegan, so it's great too, but it's supposed to be like beef. With like onions and stuff, and then it's white rice underneath, and then there's a, a kale salad and soup plantains. Is it? Do y'all normally have white rice or black rice? Like when you go to um, restaurants in general? I've never got white rice from a Haitian restaurant before. I've always got um black rice. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe they just do that in there. I didn't see black rice on the menu though. But that shit was good, and then we got pineapple. Ginger pineapple juice. It was a lemonade or just regular? Just regular. Ginger pineapple juice. This shit was mad good, bro. And then for your last gift, bro. Should I take my camera out? Yeah, you could take it out. Take your phone, bro. Yeah, it's back. I can't. Oh, well, let me back up because I don't want them to see in case they type it. Miami? Miami? <laughs> Wait, no, What's the first thing we do when we go to Miami, bro? Go to the beach. Some beach ass. Beach, beach, beach. Check your phone, bro. Oh my God. This is, <laughs> this is the banger, bro. You know how long I've been keeping this a secret, bro? Check your phone. How long? <laughs> yeah. Lock anything important. I also want my camera too to react, bro. Before. Wait. You show my camera? Oh, oh, my bad, my <laughs> like, bad, my bad. Well, they already know Loki, but yeah, we're going on a cruise, y'all. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> Alright, copyright. <laughs> <laughs> copyright. <laughs> it's only a four day cruise, but can you guess? We're only going to one place, but can you guess where we're going? Mexico. No. Jamaica. No. It is the yes. No, no, it's the perfect fashion. <laughs> <laughs> you better learn your, your lyrics, bro. Yo, I really gotta learn now. Do, do I know any other words? Alright. You got a couple seconds. Like, really? What that mean? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we go to Haiti, bro. Um, it's gonna be a movie. Like I was saying earlier, bro. Treat your friends, Isaiah. You next, bro. <laughs> Obstacles and everything we went through for being misjudged and misunderstood. Um, you know, it didn't stop us. You know, it did. It wasn't. It wasn't a brick wall. It was a speed bump. You know, and it was. And I embrace it as, as you know, the resistance, the gravity, trying to do something great.